on other levels. Right now you may be in a room and there's power. It comes out of the outlet where the tape machine plugs in or where the light plugs in. But you can't see the wiring. Or if you were blind, perhaps you couldn't even find the outlet, let's say. But a person who can see, who's developed the facility of seeing into other planes, can do so. They could see the wiring in the walls. They can see where power comes from, how life works. They have a great advent advantage in daily living over the individual who can't see. So seeing is a quality that comes to a person who has personal power. And thought control is the primary interest of a person who seeks power because most energy and power is not lost simply in association, associations with others or by going to a place that lacks power. But most power is lost in one's own mind by thinking negative thoughts, by worrying about the future, by focusing on the past. As opposed to thinking positive, strong, happy thoughts, creative thoughts, new thoughts, thoughts you've never thought before. A person without much power is easily influenced by others, whether they are physical or non-physical beings and their life is easily ruined. They're blown around like a leaf in the wind. A person with power, on the other hand, controls their life and their destiny. They have a mastery. Their moments are aware moments in this world, never wasted. That control in life, if, if that's what you admire, that ability to control one's mind, not to get angry, if you don't want to get angry, not to be unhappy if you don't want to be unhappy, or to be happy, to be powerful when it's necessary to engage in a challenge if someone comes along and they want to screw around with you to be able to win. That's a reflection of power. But that power comes from leading a controlled life, a happy life, a perky life. I'm not talking about moving into the local monastery and giving everything up. You can move into the local monastery and give everything up and be miserable and have no power. Power doesn't come so much from what is around you. It has to do with how you use your mind. So the study of Zen, then, is a retraining. It's a series of new ways, not just one way, to learn to use your mind more efficiently. And this efficiency will cause you to increase power and not to lose power. And it is my belief that if you practice Zen or something similar you will become a much more powerful person than you are now. Naturally, the challenge of power is how to use it and not abuse it. And when you abuse it, it reverses on you and it hurts you. If you gain some powers by your entrance into other dimensions and you use them to attack others or to make others miserable, then power reverses on you and it pulls you apart because it's not supposed to be used that way. Such people are unhappy, shallow beings who become more and more unhappy. They lower their power levels. Non-physical beings are drawn to them, take them over, and all kinds of things happen. The only way out of such a situation, of course, is to stop doing it. How do you stay out of jail? You stop breaking the law. How do you overcome the negative karmas and problems and misery that occurs to people who abuse power. <laughs> you stop abusing power, of course. But some beings are so deluded that they think that, well, who knows what they think? Who cares? That's deluded beings. But you, my friend, on the other hand, can use power in positive and creative ways to enhance your life. And that's what I suggest. And power is mostly gained through the practice, again, of meditation, which I've described on other tapes and in books, and others have described it. If you practice it on a daily basis, you'll become powerful. And then if you have a good teacher, the teacher will show you the ropes in the world of power. They will not only provide you with experiences in other dimensions via their own personal power, but also 
they will give you the wisdom. They can't give it to you, but they will present you with ideas and knowledge, <clears throat> which you can look at and examine and see if it makes sense to you. They will give you the wisdom that is necessary to be able to use power. You don't just give a kid on his 16th birthday a new Ferrari. You teach him how to drive it. So naturally, you need someone who is versed in the ways of power to teach you a thing or two about it, and then you have to go experiment with it on your own, of course. And then when you reach your next power level, they'll teach you a little more and so on and so forth. Again, it's very much like the study of martial arts, where you're moving from belt to belt, and as you gain more power and you become a black belt, then the teacher will teach you how to get to your second level and third and so on. But before that can happen, you have to practice and become competent at a certain level, and then you can learn something new and move to the next level. The study of self-knowledge and gaining personal power is very much like that. It's a wonderful study. I teach it. I enjoy it and practice it. I recommend it highly. If you are a person who wants an uncommonly fine life, if you are an individual who wants to lift yourself up in this lifetime beyond the common misery and pettiness, unhappiness and frustration and delusion that most beings here experience, if you seek something more, control of your time and life and mind, and you're willing to put in some time each day to do that, to give yourself a wonderful life, then that will happen to you and you will become quite different than you are now. You'll become a much more developed being. You will learn the ways of knowledge and power. So, my friend, power is everywhere when you can see it and know how to find it, and it's nowhere when you can't. <laughs> and you know, when you have power, you can do nice things for people. Like well, stay out of their way, right? You can do whatever it is you want to do, which, of course, is another subject for another time. What is it that you want to do, and just what do you want this power for? That's what I want to know. I think I can guess. And you will find out what that's all about, right? Getting power and going out and doing what you want. Oh, God. What an experience you have ahead of you. What things to learn. What awesome responsibility it must be to be you. Gads. I can't imagine... Da 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 So here we are singing along with Zen Master Rama. Ba da 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 In search of power, knowledge, and experience on the planet Earth or wherever you might be hearing this tape, they've imported it into your dimension, you might gain something from it. The operable rules are the same wherever you are. So have a good time out there. <laughs> <laughs>